I had these heifers pinned up in this uh, oh, two or three acre trap. Ever since we weaned them, basically they've been over in there for three weeks, maybe. And uh, finally got them all to where they'll come into the feed and kind of follow this buggy to, to feed them. So we'll turn them out on this grassy fields here. Uh, most of them we bale, and we didn't bale most of it uh, late, so it's got some good growth on it till. And you can tell they're really enjoying just being barely outside that gate. If you look at them, just about all of them got their head on the ground. I assume they're going to come out here and do some running and bucking and jumping and kicking but uh anyway this is tuesday evening it's been getting cold and they're giving us uh heavy frost warning supposed to get down to freezing tomorrow night and i don't have all my stuff ready i gotta drain my sprayer first and uh mildred don't have nothing but water in her and I got to run a check on everything else. I know my wood trucks had water added to it, so Freedom's gonna need some antifreeze. I got a, another tractor that I have never checked antifreeze in, but only one thing I know for sure about antifreeze checking is that Bob, my, my 863 Bobcat Bob, will not need any he ain't gonna need any antifreeze because he's dude's air cool nope he won't need no antifreeze pretty uneventful they've had all the hay they can eat But they, they do like to pick, and the steers out of this bunch, that's all they've been doing. I, I put out a little square bale, kind of test the water, and they wasted most of it. Since I got them turned out on the hay field, not on grass. So, But these guys were eating the square bale out the back of this thing here. So, this will be their first night out of the, out of the lot. The red tag calves were Scots, the ones I bought from him. The white tag ones were Dakotas. And the ones I raised are yellow tag, one yellow tag and a fly tag. Now, this is how you want it to be when you're turning these things out. I've had it before where them things are so wound up when you turn them out, they just all run to the other end of the pen or the lot that you put them in. And But these have calmed right down, are doing really good, nice and docile. That's the way we like it. And they, they, <laughs> they had some rain on them when they was first in the barn. But I'm working on it. I'm going to build me a pen in the inside on the south side and planning on putting all of our smaller wean calves that have yet to come. We'll wean them in December. And there won't be 15 of them. But I think I'm going to feed them inside all winter. And uh, we will have a pen set up then that will allow us to wean however many calves we can get and they'll have a place where they can get inside and so that's that's something that i'm working toward and we'll get there we'll get there almost got all the stuff cleaned out of the way i think there's a few little things i had to move my hand out of the way and then i'll be ready to put panels up. I have to drive a few pipe posts in there. But I got tired of these things making a waste of my hay because I'd put it out here in the ring and then they 
it'd get rained on the day after I done it and they wouldn't eat no more of it. And they probably will quit eating hay for a few days too. Uh, I hope they'll still come in for grain and, and I'm certain most of them will and they'll get to where they all do again. But I'm, You see these feeder panels and stuff that's up here. I have place to use all of them somewhere else. So we have plans to, to move them and uh, already have a use for them. So I'm gonna take them down and take down the little fence that comes this way. I, I put a lot of creek gravel right there in that spot so I could drive on it, but it's uh, it's not labor intensive, but it's a real pain and a little bit dangerous to be driving up and back and down that hill. Plus, I really like having a place I can feed them where I've got them caught. And I did have portable panels set up around this up here, but it's kind of a pain to try to get stock trailer in here. You got to go way around the back of the chicken houses and everything. It's much nicer if I can just get them to want to go down there in that spot down there. It's also going to free up uh, one, two, three, six pipe posts. And I think there's enough wire there to build my deal between my buildings down there. Where I gotta put up a little bit of fence. Well, I'll shut up now and just give you a view of these 38 calves. Let's see if we can count them. One, three, four. I bet you the other three are down there in the barn eating hay. Missed the dinner bell. Wild bunch of bovine critters. tag one right there has got tiger stripes it'll be uh, that's genetic she is uh, probably got some bramer in her or something that's not dirt it'll be tiger stripes well I can already tell you the yellow one's one of them, and there's a black one I can see in the doorway. I think we're missing three. Maybe it's just two silly things. I'd like to never got that yellow one to come in neat pee. Now we put their hay in the barn. She stays in the barn. This is, it's a little muddy here, but it's not like tracking all the way up to their ankles mud. It's just surface, just on the top. There's the other one. Almost a miscount, that's all I can tell you. So I don't see another one in there. Hey, get out of there. You're going to want to go up on the hill. Well, this has been moving. <laughs> November. 
2nd. November 2nd. Thanks for watching.